Welcome back. I'm Walter Reed. Today we're going to do something a little bit more ambitious. We're going to set up an individual pathfinding patrols for our NPCs. By the end of this lesson, you will know everything you need in order to make your NPC characters fall on an ordered list of waypoints in a very natural way. I'm super excited about this one, so please like and subscribe if you find it useful. We start off in the Unity IDE. Based on our last tutorials, we've already created some level of detail, including a floor, buildings, and a little wall to allow our pathfinding to stretch its legs. I've also created a number of NPCs who have nav mesh agent components already attached. I've added patrol paths, which are just four empty game objects that will act as waypoints for our navigation. Finally, I've already built my nav mesh in the navigation menu, so we don't need to do that step. Remember, if you need a refresher on how to do that, check out one of my earlier pathfinding tutorials. We're going to need to create two new scripts to get our navigation working. The first one is the MPC controller. This will keep track of the current path, where the MPC is on that path, and selecting a destination with our nav mesh agent. The second script does the bulk of the work. It's called MPC Patrol. This script will handle determining if the waypoint is reached and selecting the next waypoint in the list as a new destination. We'll add the NPC controller and the NPC patrol to our eight capsules and two patrol path game objects respectively. Now that our scripts are in the correct game objects, let's get to writing the script for the NPC Patrol first. The NPC Patrol script is essentially a navigation script for a computer-controlled, non-player character, or NPC. Specifically, it is designed to have a character move around in an area by following a predefined list of points, or waypoint nodes. The script begins with a declaration of public list of transform objects named path nodes, and a public float representing the path reaching radius, which sets the distance at which the character will be considered to have reached a given waypoint or path node. The first method in the script is the isPathValid method, which simply checks if the path nodes list is populated with at least one node. The next method is the get position of path node, which includes an integer node index. It returns the position vector of the node at the passed in index within the path nodes list. The get destination on path, which includes a transform agent and an integer called path destination node index returns the position vector of the destination node at the current index of the path destination node index variable. Finally, Update path destination, which includes a transform agent 
and an integer path destination node index, as well as an inverse order, which is a Boolean, is the method that is responsible for determining when to increment the path destination node index so that the character will continue on to the next destination in the list. It does this by checking whether the character is within the path reaching radius from the current destination, and if so, will set the next destination in the list. I've also included the code for the inversing the order in which the NPC traverses the path. If we wanted to see the NPC follow the path in the opposite direction, we would just set that variable to true. Once we've verified that path destination node index is not less than zero, or is greater than path node.count, we return the path destination node index. Let's just clean up a few things and then we should be done. Let's take a look at our MPC controller script now. At the top of the code, we define some fields that will be used by the script. The first is nav mesh agent that will be attached to the MPC when the game begins. This allows the MPC to move around and interact with the world. We also define an MPC patrol object and an integer that will keep track of the current destination node. In the start method, we set the nav mesh agent field to the attached component. The update method is the heart of the script. It's called every single frame and is responsible for updating the NPC's position and destination. First, it calls the update path destination method from the MPC patrol object. This method takes in the MPC's current position as well as the destination node index and returns a new destination node index. The next line calls get destination on path method from the MPC patrol object as well and passes it to the MPC's current position and the destination node index. This method returns a vector3 object with the coordinates of the next destination node. Finally, the setNavDestination method is called with the vector3 object as an argument. This method sets the destination of the MPC's nav mesh agent component, causing the MPC to move to the new destination. With our scripts already populated into the respective game objects, we just need to do two things to be done. First is to populate our node list with the respective point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, and point 0.4 child objects. Second, in the capsule game objects, drag the patrol path game object into our MPC controller script. All there is now to do is hit the play button. Fantastic. As always, I hope you found this useful, and you can find the source code at the bottom of this video in the description. If you did, please consider telling me in the comments and like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great day and keep playing.